the trade of the century might be here, or is it? Find out in today's episode. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. My name is DaVinci Jeremy. I'm in the pipe 5x5, five five, staying alive here in Dubai. I hope you're doing well. Ah, oh, man, we're going to be uh, showing you that I'm finally going to be jumping into that million dollar trade that I've been talking about most likely today. Now, there is no guarantees that I can get in the trade because it is based on historical events, right? And we'll be talking about exactly what those historical events in today's episode. Also, um, we're going to be talking about Elizabeth Warren's new bill to really destroy crypto. She is the destruction of anything good, Elizabeth Warren. I don't know how she gets reelected every single time. Uh, I mean, she is, is the epitome of um, hypocrites in, in politics. But hey, you know what? It's by design. Uh, that she gets she gets uh, elected every single time, even though everybody hates her. But uh, the way they set up the the uh, voting, she will be always elected. Anyways, uh, with that said, yeah, we're gonna be uh, with the with the trade that we're gonna show you today that I might make. Uh, you could do so at uh, bybit.davincij15.com or okx.davincij15.com. Links in the description below, so check that out. Okay, let's. Uh, uh, I'm gonna skip the yacht thing, but uh, if you missed it, check it out in a previous video. Elizabeth Warren's crypto bill is likely unconstitutional. It's also unlikely to pass. All right, well, let's let's talk about that. On Monday, five Democratic lawyers joined to co-sponsor a so-called digital assets anti-money laundering act. If passed, the law would extend bank secrecy requirements, including know your customers, KYC rules to, to miners, validators, and wallet providers, and other crypto industry actors. Okay, so you could tell that this bill will not pass. How do you could tell a best bill will not? Digital Asset Anti-Money Laundering Act. is because the title of it is not good. It's not... Um, looking like uh, something positive from your point of view, the average person's point of view. Now, if they said, um, you know, um, if it was like giving back to the Public Money Distribution Act, it would, it would be nice and it would definitely pass, right? Because that's how they work. That's how they work. They come up with some positive bill, which is a lie. <laughs> so, <laughs> and you see it, right? Well, all the time, right? For example, the Patriot Act, right? It's, there's nothing patriotic about the Patriot Act, right? But yeah, anyways, that said, uh, oh, Warren's bill, is, as it exists, is unlikely to pass for many, many of the same reasons uh, U.S. governance is often hamstrung, uh, partisan politics, infighting, and gridlock. Well, that was by design, but unfortunately... There's ways around that. And I showed you exactly how that is, right? Um, basically, they create bills that make it sound good. All right. Um, Fed funds rate is, is occurring today in 12, 13 hours, actually. We're going to be seeing um, no uh, basic, no change in the Fed interest rates, right, for today however what is anticipated today is not the the changing of the rates but the the federal reserve um group talking about whether or not they're going to reduce interest rates next year and so once that happens the market will get volatile okay now we're going to get on to bitcoin what does this mean for bitcoin right because that's that's the key thing well normally when we see um the Fed uh, come out with something, there is a massive spike here um, in uh, Bitcoin. Not always, not always, not always. Keep that in mind. So, but the majority of the times, Bitcoin goes wild. So you cannot, like, for example, I made this small trade. You cannot have these small trades take, it, take you to the promised land. Let's just say you can see that this is a 0.5 what's it called, risk to reward uh, percentage that you could lose. So you could take a high leverage trade right here where 
you know, you do like a 50 X and then boom, right. You can make a lot of money as this thing continues down. Unfortunately, you can't do that with the fed coming out, right? And once the fed comes, comes and speaks, a lot of bad things could happen, right? Most likely a big spike up, wiping out your, your, all your gains instantly. Now, of course you could have moved your stops to, to break even and so forth. Now, so what I'm suggesting is that you, um, enter a trade, right? At these levels, right? Smaller trades, uh, with a lower leverage as we enter the fed. So we could probably either, you could either wait for the fed, uh, to come out and announce this stuff and then, then, uh, you know, make enter the trade uh, a market buy. If we get up to some crazy amount, like if we get up to this resistance area, you could say for sure, you can start buying shorting, um, Bitcoin. There's, uh, especially if we go upward first, if we do that first, that's a key sign that this move is false. Always the first move is the wrong one, right? When the fed opens up its mouth. All right, so you can start shorting it in this area um, if it, after the Fed opens its mouth. But if you don't, if you let's just say you can't be at your computer or phone when the Fed opens up their mouth, well, then you can start, you know, putting in um, short orders all the way up on an average basis. So who should make this trade, right? Who should enter into this trade? is a, uh, is is the key question and it's really simple right all you have to do is read this and tell me what it says if you read this and say opportunity is nowhere you shouldn't enter the trade but if you read this differently you should all right with that said i'm going to um close off the show the ethereum basically is the same Right, it, it will have the same effect, um, just different uh, entry points, of course. And um, let's just quickly go over that. You can see that Ethereum probably going to um, break, possibly break up as high as the um, twenty three hundred and twenty nine dollar level uh, on a Fed uh, and on a Fed announcement. So be careful about that. It could break if it breaks any of these areas up here, the twenty two sixty. We can see it push really fast up here. So uh, please be careful. And it's uh, it's really difficult to enter a trade post, uh, before the Fed because a lot of things, you don't know how far this thing can move uh, on uh, Ethereum. All right, so that's it for today. No guarantees that, the, the, that this will happen, of course, that the Fed will talk about, you know, uh, interest rates, the lowering next year. No guarantees that... Uh, that uh, the that the when they do it will um, cause the market to fluctuate in, in in Bitcoin, but we just have to bet on what is most probable, and that's what uh, the market is predicting. All right, well, thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Cheers.